Do I look 28 or 25? <laughs> Not 30. <laughs> it's called I've Been Teaching All Day. Rod actually came out from the mainland t uh, two nights ago. Last I night. Can't, I can't even talk. Is there like smoke in the air? Can, Do you see that? I, or is it um, my tea steam? A couple of nights ago or uh, blah, 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 last blah. night. Last night, Rodney came out from the mainland. We have been planning this couple day video project with my class. We were at the Nanaimo River Hatchery. So my voice is a little bit weary. So what do I decide to do? Make another video. In this evening, I'm going to be teaching you how to cook stuffed morels. We have our prize morels. I want you to guess how many pounds how morels. Many pounds? Five, five. Ten? Almost, almost seven. See one of those small baskets up there? Yeah. That was pretty much stuffed full. Yeah. And then this is how much you get out of it. Mm, well. But we've had a really productive morel season thus far and it started going off um, on Good Friday back in April. So we've, um, we've really, yeah, had a good time picking and I uh, brought these home and I dehydrated them in my Cabela's dehydrator right there. and. Morels are really nice because since they're so hollow, they actually can dehydrate pretty quickly. So it's only a couple of days and I put them on my trays after I've sliced them in half and then I rotate the trays around so that they don't burn or over dry, I guess. And then once they're nice and crispy like chips, I just store them in the jar and they last a very long time. First things first, um, I'm actually going to take the morels and I'm going to soak them in water. I'm going to boil them. Um, this will also eliminate any dirt that is, is stuck inside the grooves. And then once I boil them, I'm going to put them in my tray and bake them. This is a spring mushroom, right? Choice edible morels are so sought after. Yeah. If you have any, in the spring, going In the springtime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not only because you've had a drought of mushrooms, mm -hmm. right, from fall, there's none during the winters. It's like one of the first mushrooms that come out in the springtime, um, especially when you hit that weather of like 11 or so degrees when the ground temperatures warm up to that, <laughs> that amount. Yep. Then they start to flush, yep. warm weather and rain. I did say we're doing a stuffed morel recipe, but it's more going to be like a morel base with like a Dungeness crab and shrimp oh, dip, okay. cream cheese dip. Okay. Well, my expectation is pretty high right now. Oh jeez, what a blockage cream cheese. I could use less because if we're only eating for two people and this is a lot of food. You do realize I'm lactose intolerant, right? You're gonna stink up the house. <laughs> Slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my mother-in-law made this for me for Christmas. We got flies. We got, got flies, barbed hooks. Yep. We got um, interesting mushrooms. So look, so the they're probably magic. I don't know. What's this one? Uh, that's a natro. Looks like a, a I see brookie? I see vermiculations on the yeah, back. That's like a brookie. brookie yeah. The morels are more tender. The water. They still hold a lot of the flavor, so if you think I'm washing all the flavor. I know Rod likes it spicy. Dungeness crab meat, fresh, expensive. Usually I use imitation crab, but when I'm feeding such a famous YouTuber, I, I have to go all out. I just don't get crab that often. No. I get crabby, but no crab. Yeah. Bing. Don't say anything. Get crabby and I don't go shed hunting. Speaking of sheds, you should show everyone my pile. That is... <laughs> what is that? One year from now, you'll be like up to the ceiling, right? That's my goal. Yeah. I said to Dan, I'm hitting the roof. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Nobody can, Shire. Yeah, nobody can pronounce that word. Mm -hmm. Give you a little kitty spoon. Isn't it cute? He got all shallow. No, there's crap in there. Mm. 
Just need to get them a little crispy. So they're not super soggy, maybe a texture thing. So you have like a very creamy, rich sauce on top. You might want a crispier bottom. Normally with myself, when I'd make this, I just like put all of it in, but I'm trying to be a little more mm -hmm. like having it balanced. Shaved Parmesan cheese and panko breadcrumbs. Um, you know what it's done when the breadcrumbs and the cheese are brown? So that looks, that's a pretty thin layer of food, but it's actually very, very rich. <laughs> we got like everything in there. We got yeah, orels, it's, uh, we got crabs, we got... It's expensive, it's rich yeah. in a couple of ways. And there we go. And now we check back in 35 minutes. That looks absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has all of my favorite things in one dish. Make sure you have it balanced. It can't mm -hmm. just be like the sauce or the crust or the mushrooms it has to go all together. No, yeah, it's good. No, it's good. It's um, I just don't know how to explain the texture of that mushroom. Is it's like a shreddy. It, it's like it's very grooved. Um, yeah. It's like kind of airy because there's so many like divots in it or holes. Yeah. It's not like that typical mushroom that you get in a restaurant where it's like squishy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not chewy. It's got a good chew to it. It's, it's, it's kind of a little bouncy as well. So it's, um, yeah, it just, it feels good in your mouth. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's, um, yeah. That's good. You always want it to feel good in your mouth. I like this dish when it's pulled out of the oven and it's like right away. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. It's, uh, Okay. Yeah. We can be more enthusiastic with the music. <laughs> like, put, throw like balloons on the side and like streamers and hoodies. Am I not, am I not excited, excited? I think we're just tired. Like, yeah. we're talking about yeah. 11 o'clock at night, <laughs> a Monday. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You saw how I tried this recipe out. If you want to try it yourself, let me know how it goes, or if you alter it some way, that's awesome too, and I'd love to hear that as well. If you have any other recipes, please send them in the comments because I'm always trying to figure out how to prepare my mushrooms differently instead of using the same recipe over and over again. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, because I need some more views yep. to and, make and up for the money that I spent <laughs> on the crab. And if, if, if you send in recipes, she will cook it up in the next video too, right? <laughs> Are you, yeah, if you're out here, sure, why not? Okay. And until next time, good luck foraging.